Hi guys, I am Muchakwa and again with Maths XYZ and today we'll still be continuing with shapes and measurements and in this lesson we'll be doing an example on a cone and also a hemisphere type of example. So what we have here is we have a cone and also a hemisphere and the question that we are asked is, it says that an ice cream cone displays displayed is constructed from a solid cone and a hollow hemisphere calculate the surface area of the display remember when we talk about the solid cone the equation of a solid cone cone i mean to say not come cone is equals to half the circumference of the circle which is a uh, half of 2 pi r and then multiply by the slant height which is hs and that because it's a solid cone we have to add also the pi r squared to it so this will give us a uh, pi r hs plus pi r squared this is the equation of a solid cone and then an equation of a, of a hollow hemisphere remember that uh, a hemisphere is a half uh, the circumference no half the surface area of a sphere of which um hem sorry guys i just wrote the wrong spelling hemisphere I remember that a hemisphere surface area is equals to 4 pi r squared that means that a surface area of a hollow uh, hemisphere is just a half of the sphere which is which will be 2 pi r uh, squared and also remember that when a hemisphere is closed that means we were going to add another pi r squared for the closing circle and that will give us an equation of 3 pi r squared now having those two equations, those are our study steps to now answer the question of um, uh, that, that is at hand. So here we are given a cone, which is this one, and the hemisphere, I think this is the closing part of the cone. And uh, that means that we uh, have a height of 8 meters, and we have a radius, which is also the adjacent of the right angle triangle, which is 6 meters. So our slant height is actually this side, which is HS. So to calculate the value of our slant height, which is the first thing that we must do, is to use the theorem of Pythagoras because the triangle here is a right angle triangle. So using the theorem of Pythagoras, let me just use another marker. We have HS squared is equals to H squared plus R squared. We know that in this case, our H squared is the height of this plus our R squared is the radius which is equals to six six meters so this will be equals to 64 plus 36 which will give us a hundred and then a square of the square root of that that means hs is equals to 10 meters all right uh, then that means here we have a 10 meter as our hs so to calculate the surface area which is what has been asked we have to calculate the surface area of a solid cone which is this part here and also for the hemisphere which is the top part by using those equal to equation and after having found that we just combine the two and that will give us the total surface area so starting with the solid cone let me just use another marker as well with a solid cone uh, we're gonna have uh, the equation is pi r h s plus pi r squared of which we know that this pi and our r is equal to the radius and in this case we are given it as six meters so we're going to have six meter and our h s is, is what we have just now calculated which is the slant height which is equal to uh, 10 meters so that will be 10 meters there all right and after that we just have to add uh, the pi r squared and the radius is still the same, it's equals to 6 squared and that will give us the surface area of a solid cone and after having done that now we have to calculate uh, the surface area of a hollow hemisphere which is uh, open hemisphere that means so the equation for that is equals to 2 pi r squared and in this case we are gonna be having a 2 pi and uh, the first question that we need to ask ourselves is this the hemisphere is actually closing the cone right then that means that the radius of the cone and also the radius of the open hemisphere is the same thing so we have our radius as six meters 
that will be squared and that will give us the answer so our our answer which has been asked is to calculate the surface area so to calculate the surface area in this case we just have to add the solid cone surface area plus the hollow hemisphere surface area and that will give us the total surface area for this question here so this will be solid cone uh, plus uh, a hollow which we can also say is an open hemisphere okay so here we okay i haven't punched that into a calculator as i told you guys that i don't have one so i'll just uh, use my my cell phone so that will be pi multiplied by six multiplied by ten which will give us that and that plus um pi six squared which is 36 as well and that will give us uh 301 so the surface area of a hollow of a solid cone is equals to 301,59 uh, meters squared. Why is it meters squared? It's because the SI unit that we are given here, they are actually given, the units that we are given here, they are given us in meters. And we know that the SI unit of the area is meters squared. So that will be 301 of which I still have to write it here because I will add it again to find the total surface area. So for the hemisphere, which is an open hemisphere, we're going to have 2 pi multiplied by 36 again, which will give us 2 to 6. So just make up space there. This will be 2 to 6,19 meters squared. All right. And then here we're going to have uh, plus again 2 to 6,19 square meters this after adding the two that will give us the total surface area which is a question which is displayed here so that will be 301 comma 59 adding that it will give us uh, 527 comma 78 this is the surface area that it has been asked which is the surface area of the display that is shown here all right guys let's just do a quick recap on this question of which we are given an ice cream cone display constructed from a solid cone solid cone that means that here is the equation of the solid cone which is uh, uh half of the circumference of the of the cone plus uh, multiplied by the slant height plus the area of the base area of the cone of which we know that the base area of the cone is equal to the area of a circle which is pi r squared then here we have pi r hs of which we know that hs is the slant height is this height here so the slant height to find the value of the slant height what we do is to use the theorem of pythagoras which is which states that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared of which after calculating that we got a 10 meter as our hypotenuse and then after having found that we now know that uh, the other thing that we should be included is the surface area of a hollow hemisphere. Remember, a hollow hemisphere is the it's a half the hemisphere which is not closed. That means that we just have to take the hemisphere and divide it by two. That will give us uh, the equation, the surface area formula for the hemisphere, hollow hemisphere. Remember that the surface area of a sphere is equals to 4 pi r squared and having that in half so that we can find for the hemisphere, it will be 2 pi r squared. And after done that, we just have to calculate them separately or you can actually include them, you can actually add that there to have it in total surface area. But I chose to do them in separate ways. That solid cone, I calculated the surface area which gave the answer of 301,59 square meters and for the hollow hemisphere the surface area uh, the answer was 226,19 square meters and uh, to get the total surface area of the display uh, the uh, we just have to add the solid cone uh, surface area plus the open hemisphere surface area remember that hollow I also told you guys that uh, this also means that it's open and for the solid, it also means that it's a closed uh, cone. So these are the keywords in this that it's solid and also it's a whole hemisphere. 
then uh, the one thing that you guys should always take into consideration is to know your formulas correctly because if for this case you use another formula it would have been wrong so this uh, is the key word that you must know that when it's hollow the equation that you use is the 2 pi r square and when it's closed the equation that you use for a sphere is equals to 3 pi r squared and when it comes to the volume of which in this question it has not been asked the in the equation for the volume for both when it's closed and when it's open is the same which is four over uh it's actually two over three pi r cube for the sphere and also for the solid cone or the open cone it's the same as well which is one over three pi r cube so what you need to do also um, i'm sorry pi r squared and pi r squared h because we have to consider the height when we're dealing with the volume of a sphere the height that it has been exceeded with so the best thing is to know your equation right and as you can see that this question here it combined both the equation of a sphere and also the equation of a code so you can see that they sometimes combine this two this question these two shapes so that you can come up with the right answers and also for you to understand better because you won't just come up a straight uh, away and question so that's why it was not a tricky question it, quite, it was quite interesting i hope you guys understood this uh, lesson and you enjoyed it as much as i did and uh, if you haven't subscribed to Met xyz channel on youtube please do so so that uh, you'll be able to get notification when we upload videos thank you